What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm going to be playing a really bulky Gudra team. Now, Hisuian Gudra is one of my favorite mons ever. So like, I was really excited when Rondon sent this in to me. Thank you so much for sending this in to me. You got like five of my favorite mons and an Urshifu. So of course I had to play this. Uh, anyway, the idea is Gudra with shell armor can't be crit. So you set up shelters and you put up reflex and you drop the opponent's special attack with Snarl, and you drop their physical attack with Strength Sap, and you burn them with Scalds and Machigachas, and they can just never break Gudra. And that's simply that. And on top of that, Sinistro will heal up Gudra anytime it comes in, Ting Lu will reduce the special attack of the opponents, and then Ogre Pond and Urshifu, that's just a strong Firewater Grass Core when you need to like bop something. The Ogre Pond and the Urshifu specifically, they're pretty good in against like Golden Go, who's a really good matchup into Gudra. Ogre Pond's pretty good into Fluttermane, who has a decent matchup if you can't get a heavy slam positioned right. But otherwise, Gudra is just the carry here. Anyway, I'm super excited to play this, so let's get on with it. Okay, what does Gudra lose to here? Uh, Glamora, maybe. Entei can burn it. Lamora, if I have to Terra. Do I have to Terra? Terra is only good against Urshifu for the fighting move. Ting Lu is good into Glamora. Ting Lu is good into a lot of that stuff. In fact, Terra Poison Ting Lu might even be the play. Hmm. <laughs> uh, Raging Bolt is also a little annoying for Gudra, but Ting Lu handles that pretty well. Yeah, Gudra and Ting Lu are great here. I want screens. Do I want Urshifu? Not really. Do I want Ogre Pond? Not really. Maybe. We have Stomping Tantrum for those fire types. Stomping Tantrum hits a lot of those, actually. Hmm. Yeah, maybe screens Ogre Pond to start out with, and then Gudra Tinglu in the back? Urshifu is the only thing we really need Terra on Gudra for. Maybe we can handle that, or save Terra for that, just in case. Don't really want to bring Sinistra here. Especially in case it's a Dark Urshifu, which it very well could be here. They already have a water type. The Ogre Pond Entei Firewater Grass Core. Ooh, Hisuian Zork. Sick. I'm using a Hisui Pokemon too. Uh, they bring both of their special attackers. Understandable. Perfectly understandable. We break our mold. And you do have booster energy. Which one? Speed! What I do not want to see is like Icy Wind into Meteor Beam into Ogre Pond. Maybe I can Light Screen. No, maybe I can Fake Out, because Gudra's immune to Toxic. Immediately burn Terra and take out Fluttermane? That doesn't seem worth it. Light Screen go to Gudra is not bad. Yeah, I think that's fine. I don't want I don't want to get Ting Lu poisoned. Ting Lu is actually really good here. As soon as Fluttermane goes down. And if we just Terra it, it's even good against that. It is Icy Wind. And then probably a rock move into Ogre Pond. That's what it looks like. Now, your plus one, uh, whatchamacallit, Earth Power might do a lot to Gudra next turn. I'm a little worried about that. Maybe I bring in Ting Lu to help with that.
Would it be worth clicking Spirit Break? And letting them get the Toxic Spikes up? I think I want to avoid that on Ting Lu. So maybe I bring in Ting Lu here. And just go for a Heavy Slam on Fluttermane? That seems okay. They very well could protect Fluttermane or swap it out or something. But they won't do much damage now, I hope. Okay, just Dazzling Gleam. That's good to see. You're gonna let me hit you. And Sludge Bomb. Ooh, nice. And no poison. Even nicer. Goodbye, Fluttermane, for basically free. You've done very little chip on me so far. Plus one, one Glamora. Don't like to see that. Alright, now unfortunately we never got Reflect up. We still can. Dark Urshifu. It's kind of the thing I didn't want to see. Because I would have to Terra Fairy. King Lu has to get this stomping tantrum off. If they get the if they can still plus one sludge bomb into Gudra next turn, Gudra's in trouble. Though I guess we'll have a fake out turn next turn. They do commit close combat, that's good. I wonder if they covered and just sludge bombed it immediately. That is a fairly common Terra. Oh no, they're boosting up for another meteor beam. What? You're crazy! That's insane. Thank you, though. That's exactly what I needed. Yeah, Toxic Spikes are up, that's fine. Just never switch out Gudra. Or Ting Lu, for that matter. Fairy Gudra with a Shelter beats Urshifu. Uh, I guess they could have Poison Jab. Not very common though, and they can't swap out, so if they're like choiced, they can't switch to it. I feel like Poison Jab is only on choiced sets. And Water Pond. Well, I'll like to get Reflect later. Not worth swapping out for though. Just gonna have to... I guess I'll Ruination the Ogre Pond? Well, I guess I could break a Sash on her. No, I'll Ruination Ogre Pond. Body Press the Urshifu. I think that's fine. Tinglu, there's a lot of powerful hits potentially coming your way. You're just gonna have to deal with it. Gudra's pretty happy with its defense up, so... Not too worried. I guess they are putting on the mask to do as much damage as possible. But they can't crit. But we don't have Reflect yet. We're only plus two. That is at the Gudra. That was pretty good damage. Not gonna lie, that was damage. That would be a great time to have Sinistra. And Urshifu was sashed. Alright, maybe I should have covered for that. Oh well. Kinda want you to knock out my Tinglu now.
I'm gonna stomping tantrum there, and I'm gonna protect. I know Urshifu can go through protect, but Urshifu is not the one doing any damage to Gluten. And if they want to knock out Ting Lu, fine, I get a fake out turn. Yep, they do Ivy Cudgel into Gudra again. And what is it? Close combat into Gudra? Nah, into Ting Lu. Alright, they're learning. <laughs> I'll just fake out the water pond. Get up another shelter. And then put up reflect. And then there's no way they're getting through me. I'm just gonna fake out the water pond because Urshifu could detect or something. Gotta make sure I have enough defense to last through all the hits. Yep, I knew we could take that. Now I'm wondering. No, I guess, yeah. Never mind. This wicked Blow can't crit, Ivy Cudgel can't crit. We're good. We are so good. We have all the defense we will ever need. And I'll body press the Urshifu first. I don't want to get spiky shield chip. If they even were to go for that. Which they're not. Okay. Gudra! You're winning, Gudra! How much does this do? 75 to 50, God, that is 20 damage. That ain't gonna do it. And I don't crit. I guess you had to check. It's good to check. You know, I could have been Sap Sipper. You don't know. But now you know. You cannot win. Because you cannot do more than that 20 damage. And I heal, it looks like 11 each turn. So if I, I just protect, I'll out heal you. I never actually have to hit you. I will. But I don't have to. Man, good game. Gudra! Too tanky! Okay. Who's the threat to Gudra? Landorus. Landorus is the one huge threat. The other one is Gouging Fire boosting something's attack, like King Gambit could boost its attack really high and then overpower Gudra. So how do we handle Landorus with Urshifu? Grimmsnarl wouldn't be bad either. Oh, now they're with Ting Lu. With Snarl? Oh, that's dangerous in front of King Gambit though. But it can actually hit King Gambit pretty well. Uh, Ogre Pond is slower than Landorus? Yeah, this one is. Okay. I don't hate Gudra Urshifu lead. If they have Water Ogre Pond, that doesn't really hurt Gudra, so whatever. Ting Lu also good into Landorus, so I want that in the back. Just reduce that damage. Also good, not good into Fluttermane, but reduces Fluttermane's damage output. And then, what else is good into Water Ogre Pond? Sinistra, I guess? Yeah, I guess it's better than Fire Ogre Pond. You could also take a hit from Landorus. And it has Scald, so... That's... interesting, at least. I don't think that would Oko a Landorus at all, but... No trainer card! Come on, man! Come on! Water Pond and Fluttermane. No booster on that Fluttermane. That's scary. I definitely U turn with Urshifu. 
into that ogre pond. That's just the thing you do. And do I even bother heavy slamming Fluttermane if I expect, like, a follow me? Do I put up a shelter? I'll boost it up with shelter and you turn out. If I knew for a fact U turn plus body press could take Ogre Pond, I might have gone for that. But yeah, no way are they letting me heavy slam here. Oh yeah, that wouldn't do it. That combo, nah. -uh. Alright, who are we risking? I think I'll risk Ting Lu. This could just be like a dazzling gleam. They didn't Terra or anything. But they at least lower their special attack. Oh, Gudra takes that pretty comfortably then. Good. Now the question is, do I want a heavy slam now? I think I do. I think Ogre Pond might see Ting Lu as a juicy target. I could terastalize the Ting Lu. Do I need Fairy Terra? I might, if there's a Landorus. Just to avoid one Earth power. So I don't want to burn Terra yet. Yeah, and I'll bring in Sinistra now. I feel pretty strongly that they're probably a choice specs Fluttermane, so they'll just do another Dazzling Gleam and probably try to hit Ting Lu. That's what I'm thinking. If they could follow me again, that's a good that's a good play. They did not. Alright, got him. Ooh, big damage on Sinistra though. That's definitely Specs Flutter. Hopefully this Heavy Slam takes it, and we just don't have to worry about Specs Flutter anymore. Good. Bye-bye. Love to see that go down. Now, it's hard to threaten both of these. And they don't know that I don't have Rage Powder. It's a Landorus. Okay. Trick Room would be pretty baller, so I'm going to protect and try to set Trick Room. No guarantee I get that. But I feel like the Earth Power into Gudra is just too juicy, right? Substitute. Interesting play. And Sinistra takes that. Good. Now the problem is if I Terra, Landorus will see it and be able to Sludge Bomb. But I think I need to now. I don't know, his body for Heavy Slam is probably better. Who moves first? Gudra moves first. So yeah, Terra, Heavy Slam, Macha Gacha. Strength Sap into their Ogre Pond might have been nice too, just for some healing. I can see the lander is just Protect here. Could just be a double protect though. That's why I'm scared, because like I need to Terra to take an Earth Power. Oh, they're not even gonna Earth Power. Oh, they're not even gonna protect the uh, Landers, I mean. Alright, this Ogre Punch should finally be gone and out of my life. Thank you. And this sub should be broken by this. I would think. Crit on Landers, yeah, that'll definitely. That's definitely a no sub Landers now. And that's two KOs. 
You're locked in. If I get Ting Lu in and start snarling, your landers can't go anywhere about it. Which I may have to do because they now know that they could just sludge bomb. And it is Earth Power. That does a lot. They might not have to sludge bomb. Who's your last? Rillaboom. Urshifu doesn't like seeing that. Nor does Ting Lu. I think what I need to do... I don't want to stall out my own trick room. I want to bring in Ting Lu. And I want to strength sap that Rillaboom. They can't stop that. Presumably they don't have protect on Rillaboom. They might just fake out toward Gudra. If I can just get all the stat drops and make Gudra unkillable, that's the end game. Goodbye, your attack stat. A sludge bomb into Sinistra, we take them. Great. Now I will snarl. And I will soften you up even more. Yeah, a good protect. What are you gonna go for, like a wood hammer? Just trying to get out of this trick room. Minus two, I don't think wood hammer into grassy glass is gonna take Ting Lu. I'd be impressed if it does. Yeah, no, that grassy glide isn't gonna do it. I'm, I'm saying it right now. I don't think I don't think you've got enough juice behind that to do it. Last turn of trick room. Snarl. And I think it's time to throw Macha Gacha. I don't need any more HP recovery. I'll just do some damage to Landorus here. Maybe get a burn on Rillaboom. Grassy glide does do enough to Ting Lu. That's a little annoying. I can respect the double protect there. I cannot respect the lander is dodging Snarl. No! That's bad. Alright, give me something good in return. Like a really powerful hit into lander is. Alright. I get it. Okay, Fluttermane. Ogre Pond. Neither of them Terra. You still have Terra. But Urshifu should be able to knock out your Landorus anyway. Right? I would think. Yeah, you're so low. Unless you have a, a Terra that resists water, you're done. Surging Strikes, you're done. You'll need a crit Grassy Glide to knock me out. And then would it be in my best interest to set Trick Room back up? For Gudra? I don't think Trick Room being up or down matters. But a Skull Burn might. I guess that Skull should have been at Landorus, just in case they did get the Crit Grassy Glide. But they didn't even go for it, so we're good. Yep, go ahead and take me out. Oh, you didn't even. Alright. <laughs> now I'll just fish for burns until you lose. Oh, crit, huh? That's not what I needed. There it is. There it is. Thank you, Sinistra. Too bad you don't get Will-O-Wisp, but you get every other burning move, so it's fine. This Rillaboom has zero chance of beating Gudra. And very little chance of ever seeing Gudra. Good game. 
All right, so is this a Gudra game that is good or a Gudra game that is great? Well, I don't see a ghost, so that's great. Gudra can definitely pop off when they don't have a ghost. Rillaboom, no problem. Gouging fire burn would be the main problem for Gudra. And also Comfey just healing up all their partners. Okay, we can deal with that. Uh, how can they stop screens immediately? They can't really. So I see nothing wrong with just going straight for Gudra behind screens. I think that would be great here. Uh, the Ting Lu with Fissure would be a big problem. But that's about it. I love Sinistra. It's been so long since I've used Sinistra, so I want to bring it. And then maybe Ting Lu, just go full bulk? I could be in trouble against a Fissure Ting Lu. But I don't think this is a Fissure Ting Lu. I think it's Howl boosting. So it's like a more offensive set. That's what being next to Gouging Fire tells me. Uh, I could also Water Shifu. Wouldn't be bad, not great. I like Ting Lu. Yeah, Water Shifu and Ting Lu are both weak to Rillaboom. And I don't really want to bring Fire Ogre Pond here. It kind of just does its own thing. I want, I want stuff that supports Gudra in this match. And they don't have a trainer card? Hmm. It's fine. Water Shifu and Gouging Fire. Well. Are you speed boost? Okay, yeah. Well, at least your boost of speed. Okay. This is what I thought it'd be. You're gonna howl. I'm gonna reflect. You can knock out... Hmm. Hmm. Definitely shelter on Gudra. Definitely. I'm wondering if I actually want to fake out, though. Yeah, I can, I can reflect later. Yeah, you just howl. I'm gonna boost faster than that. And then I'll probably have to Terra. Just to not take a huge close combat. Yeah, Terra, Shelter again. Set up Reflect. Then you'll have no way to beat it. And then I'll start considering knocking out your Urshifu. And depending on what you do, I might be able to bring in Sinistra. I mean, it'd be weak to fire moves. What I don't want is my Gudra burned. <laughs> that Urshifu is actually scary, too, with all these boosts. Uh, I'm not too worried about the gouging fire. Okay, you're gonna take out Grimmsnarl, that's fine. That is fine and expected. But, I'm getting my boosts. Okay. My options are... Oh, I guess I could bait a move into Ting Lu and swap in Sinistra. That'd be funny. Because either one of these are going to get blown up. They've got some power. Even through Reflect. Ting Lu's not going to say take a Surging Strikes because it's going to crit. Sinistra plus two Heat Crash, probably going to knock it out. Maybe. That might take it. But I think I want to do the bait. I'll Ting Lu, I'll bait them, and then I'll body press their Urshifu. I think I have enough boosts. And yeah, this is just bait. You wouldn't heavy slam a Ting Lu. Not heavy slam, heat crash. You wouldn't heat crash a Ting Lu, would you? Oh, they're gonna go for Terra now. 
onto their Urshifu. Water Terra. Okay. Presumably that's just for more power? Are you going after Gudra? Uh, plus three, that's scary. But if you're using your water move, it doesn't crit Gudra. And if you're hitting Sinistro, well that'll hurt, but Rocky Helmet. Oh, that does nothing. Nothing at all. I hope this knocks out. Not quite, okay. Now Sinistra's gonna take a heat crash. I guess I could body press the gouging fire now. I don't see much reason for them to protect their gouging fire, so yeah, I'll go after that now and bring Ting Lu back in. Just so Sinistra can get out and heal Gudra a little bit more. I could be in a little bit of trouble against their poison Glamora thing. Oh, uh, is that gonna hurt? No, not at all. Oh, and they read that. Okay. Good cover. Good cover. Now, this shouldn't knock out Gouging Fire, so it's gonna be Gudra versus the entire world. Yeah. Gudra versus absolutely everything in the world. But Gudra's healthy. It can do it. I believe in you, Gudra. Do I believe in you? Glamora is really the only thing scary that they could have left. I'll body press and... I'm going to die. But if I don't die, Trick Room would be nice. That's definitely going to do it, right? Yeah, that does it. Okay. Rocky Helmet Chip, just in case that body press was a low roll. Does about, what, 16 damage each time? That, that'll add up over time. I'm going to have to knock that out next. Unless... Glamora. Glamora is the highest priority target there is. Would this even knock one out at this point? It is Glamora. I don't think body press knocks it out, but I really have to go for that, right? It's so what I need to do. Urshifu's gonna chip me down. Oh, I'm probably gonna be in sludge bomb range. They just got too much. They took out everything else. Gudra, you're all alone. Toxic. Ugh. And they do live body press. Ooh, that's not winnable, is it? Well, now presumably they spiky shield, get a little more surging strikes. 
should have tried to shelter to plus six, I guess. Nope, no spiky shield. And then what did you do, Glamora? Oh, Vino Shock. Yeah, goodbye. Hmm. Mm mm mm. Overpowered the Gudra. I'm sorry, Gudra. You're still cute. Okay, we're fighting. Golden Go! Oh, that is Gudra's worst enemy. Good thing Ting Lu does well into it. We've also got Galapdos. That's annoying because it can drop our defense. Male and Didi, Sarina, Talonflame, and Galar Moltres. Galar Moltres is so cool. Uh, it has a decent matchup into Gudra, too. I guess we have Terra Fairy, though. And Ting Lu is good against it. Ting Lu is really good. Except against Zapdos. Who's good against Zapdos? Not a whole lot. Zapdos has a good matchup here. Uh, we're gonna have to Terra Fairy the Gudra to beat that. Uh, but maybe Ting Lu with it. Ting Lu Gudra. Definitely want screens. I think they might see the screens lead coming. So I want to go Gudra Ting Lu. Grimmsnarl in the back, too passive? Maybe. Sinistra... Sinistra's kinda bad. Urshifu's nice. Maybe Urshifu Ogre Pond. Yeah, the, the defensive lead with the offensive back line. That might work. That might work. Not really a single switch into Thunderous Kick, to be fair. But they have a trainer card, so that's looking up. All right. Uh, it's Moltres and Sarina. Not really sure what to think about that. Other than I need a shelter. Do I want a Terra right away? the Terra on Ting Lu? Poison. Poison wouldn't be bad. If I can get a shelter up, Gudra, hmm. Gudra's better off with the shelter and the Terra. Ting Lu can take a hit. I believe in you. Yeah. And we'll just snarl. Maybe a swap into Fire Ogre Pond would have been warranted here if they're going for, like, Power Whip. But I believe in Ting Lu. Ting Lu is tanky. It might just take that. Oh, they just go for Air Slash. And taunting the Ting Lu. Oh, that would have been bad in the other slot. Well, thank you for not taunting this. Thank you very much. And they get the flinch. But at least they did a nasty plot. I'm gonna hit the Sarina now, because it probably is gonna taunt, and then I'll just Snarl. Oh, is this Zapdos? Swapping into the Snarl? No, it's Golden Go! Love that. Love to see that. Like, sure, I'm Terra Fairy now, but... You are Snarl. Yeah! In fact, since Gudra's taunted, Gudra could probably just leave. I'll give up the plus two for now. I think this is a tanky Ogre Pond, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that can take a hit for both of those. And get in good position. Yeah, Gudra, you're still the end game, but you can take a quick break. I 
think Snarl Pressure keeping that up is good. Just in case Moltres comes back in, because it's a little threatening to Ogre Pond. But it doesn't look like it's coming in. It looks like they're both attacking. Gudra should be the slowest thing on there. Other than the Tinglu. Oh, they're trying to trick! That does not work on the mask! And a high jump kick. Good job, Tinglu! Good job. Now we know they're tricking a the choice item. But if they trick it onto Ting Lu at this point, who cares? In fact, I will Ivy Cudgel here. Make sure you don't knock out Ting Lu. You can't knock out Ting Lu. If you're a choice, Golden Go, you're 100% swapping here. And hopefully Ogre Pond is faster than Sarina. And then, I'll Snarl your swap, which is hopefully Moltres. I guess it could be Zapdos now. Oh, that's so scary. Uh, whoops. Whoopsies. Haha. <laughs> Oops. Hey, Ting Lu, could you, like, miss? That'd be great. Just, just miss. Just whoopsies. J -j 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 Drop the snarl. You missed it. No, nah, that's. Mm, mm -mm. Maybe they're covert cloak. They're not covert cloak. Oh boy. That might run away with it. Oh, and it has a white herb? That activates after Defiant. That's interesting. And they got the double birdies. Okay. Well, the fighting move won't hurt Gudra. But if it just locks into Brave Bird, it will. I'll just Spiky Shield here, see what they're gonna do, and... Try to soften up the Zapdos. Because that is the threat now. But the other thing is just gonna Nasty Plot now, and become an even bigger threat. Close combat is what we're doing. Okay. Uh, we know you're not Choice Scarf because of the White Herb. Thank you for that information. Just an Air Slash into Ting Lu, which doesn't even take it. Oh, now you miss! Now you'll miss a move! Is there a reason you didn't want to Brave Bird? Golden Go is your last. Need Urshifu. Hmm. Choice Golden Go is a little annoying. Oh, what, what are they tearing here? Zapdos? Into fire! Interesting! Are you gonna let me get the cudgel off? Or are you just worried that... I'm faster? I'm not faster. But if you don't knock out Ting Lu here, Rock Slide's gonna hurt. Maybe White Herb was just for the close combat. Okay, Urshifu massively threatens that Zapdos. Problem is the Golden Go. Would Air Slash with no boosts be able to knock us out? I don't think so. I think Urshifu can take that. So we Surging Strikes. Zapdos can't get away from that. Or a point and clicking shelter. Just to power up my body press into their Moltres, really. Yeah, that's all it does. 
but I had to take out Zapdos. And then they'll have to air slash Urshifu. And then we'll have to outspeed the Golden Go and knock it out with Surgeon Strikes. And it took some Snarl damage, so it should be in range. We just have to live this air slash. Which we do! 9 HP! Clutch! That's so clutch! And then it will be Gudra versus the Moltres. But that is okay. And Golden goes not that fast. Urshifu, probably faster. I don't think we're max speed. Hopefully we're faster. They might just be specs anyway. Yes, we're faster. That's great. Goodbye. And you have to take a whole turn to hit Urshifu here. Otherwise, it'll do big damage to you, too. But Fiery Wrath will do, right? No, Air Slash and Gudra. I don't care. Great damage. Yeah, you're stronger now, but... No berry. No berry? Okay. Fine by me. More Surging Strikes. More Body Presses. Should have been nasty plotting this whole time. Mm mm mm. Mm mm mm. Maybe you're like an assault vest set. By Moltres. And Gudra gets a dub. Urshifu knocked out three Pokemon, but Gudra won. I should never have brought Gudra to a Golden Go match. <laughs> I just wanted to. I love it. Alright, we're back with the rental code. Hopefully, you've seen now why I love Gudra. It crushed it in a lot of those matches. And even the one we lost, I don't think I ever actually had to terastalize. And if I had remembered Glamora was in the back, I probably wouldn't have, and then might have been able to handle it. But it's all good. I also let those howls get away from me. Anyway, rental codes up there. Hope you enjoyed this team. I enjoyed this team. You put Gudra behind screens and just go off, I guess. It's amazing. <laughs> that always works. The other four Pokemon do not matter. Uh, anyway, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace. <laughs>